start the 6 o'clock hour with breaking news in Ulysses, which is in Tarrant County. Nearly 100 North Texans are on their way home after a natural gas leak forced them out overnight. Breaking news anchor Megan Mitchell just arrived on scene this morning. Megan, what can you tell us? The good news here is that everyone is safe and back in their homes. That's a development just within the last 20 minutes or so. But you could see there are still crews here this morning. They're working on this. This was the big problem this morning. This forced almost 100 people to evacuate in the middle of the night. It's a gas pipeline, six inch one, and it started spewing natural gas. And once again, 100 people were forced to go to a neighboring church. But like I said, they realized that this was leaking around 1 a.m. The fire department was called here and it's a six inch, as I mentioned, high pressure line. It ruptured and when I was talking to the fire chief, he ended up showing me a video that he couldn't share, but I, I will describe what he saw, what he showed me, which was that this gas pipeline went seven, eight feet into the air, it was spewing what looked like smoke, and then the wind that's out this morning was pushing it towards this neighborhood. You could see the uh, you know, different neighbors, the, the houses are actually really close to here. In fact, he was telling me that some of these neighbors might be smelling that natural gas for a while. But the biggest thing I want to mention this morning is that they went into everyone's homes on different streets, Peyton, Trigg, and Nail Streets, and they made sure that no unsafe levels of gas were in any home or were in this neighborhood in the air. So everyone is clear this morning. They are back in their house. But once again, I mean, such a tough situation for so many people, especially those neighbors who are trying to help each other out. Take a listen to what one neighbor told us. I knew of some homes that I didn't see the families. And so I had the police and the fire department go back to those homes. And sure enough, we had some families that were still in their homes and we got them out. Okay, so a couple so that gas has been turned off, but when I talked to some of the workers here, they were telling me it could take a couple hours, maybe even more, to finally get this pipeline patched back up. But once again, everyone in this neighborhood in Ulysses, they are safe this morning. They are back in their homes, but a disturbing night, of course, as this gas leaked into the air. Back to you.